My journey to a diagnosis of NMOSD has been a long journey. When I was 21 years old, I developed my first symptom of something called optic neuritis. And it was, it was terrifying. I woke up with severe eye pain and profound vision loss. I was tested for multiple sclerosis at the time and given a positive MS diagnosis. For uh, the entire course of the last 11 years, I was treated for having multiple sclerosis. And I did standard disease-modifying drug therapies that were on the market for MS. And I would always have these relapses. I would never go into remission. I would always have issues with, um, with symptoms. I could never get stabilized. About one year ago, I met Chelsea, and at that time, she had been diagnosed with relapsing multiple sclerosis. What's interesting about Chelsea's case is that she actually meets the diagnostic criteria for multiple sclerosis, and that is about 20% of all patients. They will have the diagnostic criteria met for MS as well as NMOSD. NMOSD, or neuromyelitis optica spectrum disorder, is an autoimmune disease of the central nervous system that commonly affects the optic nerve and the spinal cord. This condition is considered a rare disease with a prevalence or total number of cases in the United States numbering somewhere between 10,000 and 15,000 people. When I was told that this truly wasn't MS, it was NMOSD, I actually felt relieved. I felt relieved that maybe after all this time it wasn't me that was failing these medications. I just wasn't being treated correctly. I think one of the biggest challenges that I face is how do I mom with NMOSD? I have to be keenly aware of my body, how it feels that day, and what we're gonna be able to do. My current symptoms with living with NMOSD are kind of all over the map. Profound vision loss and eye pain. The leg spasms that get so intense that they take my breath away. The numbness and tingling, it's overwhelming. One of the things I was most upset about is that I hadn't taken the time to notice the little things in life that I'd missed so much. My kids and their eyes and the exact details of their eyes and the color and what they looked like is something that I missed tremendously. But I learned also that I could see it differently and in a different way. About six months into my visual loss, I developed a really cool ability to be able to paint these pictures in my mind. So we went out to the craft store and I bought just the basic of canvas and the cheapest paint we could find because I didn't know what this desire was, but I knew that I just needed to put something on canvas. Art became a part of my life when I lost my eyesight. What I realized is that I never would have discovered my passion for painting had I not lost my eyesight. For patients like me who are diagnosed with NMOSD, I know it can be tough. I think that a willingness to be flexible and a willingness to be open is required. There is always a chance that you can learn something new about yourself. If you're just aware, if you're willing to try new things, it's not over. Keep going. Thank you.